What's up YouTube, Kronos here and welcome back to another PSO2 video. So today, we're gonna do something I've been hesitate on do hesitating on doing for a very, very long time, but a lot of people have really asked for it, so I figured, you know what, let me just run you guys through this process how I do it. This is technically going to be a bit of a guide on a fixing. Now, I'm going to talk about a fixing to the best of my ability, but the one thing to understand about a fixing is it's both PSO2's best feature and worst feature at the same time. It is fairly in depth with a lot of its different recipes and combinations that you can go into. And if you know the system fairly well, you can actually make quite a bit of money off of it. The thing is, is knowing the system fairly well can be a bit complicated. So hang on, if I can make sure I have this open, I have a little cheat sheet that I made for myself. I'm going to link the uh, in the video description where this cheat sheet can be made for yourselves of an affixing simulator to know what I actually need to get the items that I want. So kind of just, just hang in there, guys. This is going to be a long video. I, I, there's nothing I can do about it. I really don't have a structure basis for this because I'm really not the greatest at it. Um, but I got these Nemesis duels that I'm going to go ahead and affix. Technically, they're going to be a bit better than my slave duels because one, I'm going to fix them better and two, the potential on them is a slight bit better for Bouncer. So I'm going to go ahead and go with these and I'm probably going to element change these slave duels. If not, just try to sell them and see how much money I can make off of them and then get a cheaper pair just to hold on to um, because these ones are affixed, but we'll have to see. Regardless, um, we're going to be upslotting and affixing these and I will show you guys the entire process from start to finish from upgrading these to plus 35 um, to upslotting them and then adding proper augments to them and kind of how this system works. I'm going to do the best of my ability to talk you guys through that. So without further stalling, let's jump right into it. As you'll probably tell from my voice, I'm not exactly super excited to do this. I kind of really didn't want to because, just to be honest, there are people that are better at this process than I am. Um, and they've, they've made videos to explain it, but I've always said I didn't want to make videos someone else has already made, but I kind of feel that's a bit of a cop-out personally. Um, because in reality, you guys are here to watch my content and I should just bring you the content you're looking for, man. So we're going to grab a few things from our storage that I've put together. First off, we're going to grab. How do I want to do this? Let's do the process of grinding the weapon first, actually. So I'm going to show you guys how to properly grind or semi properly or semi properly grind a 13 star. So I mentioned in my previous videos that these 12 stars are pretty good to hold on to to grind up a 13 star, right? I mentioned, you know, hey, get these 12 star sigmas. They're fairly good. One thing to keep in mind, if I show you guys a couple of things here really quick. So weapons, 12 stars, and I go enhancement level plus 30, right? Not only are they decent for just flat out um, enhancements, they're actually sell relatively well. now. When I originally did this, these were selling for almost three mil. Now, granted, PC players have started playing um, on the servers as well. They're now getting leveled up, and these plus 30 weapons are starting to go down in price, which I'm really happy about. Having them between what about one to two mil, or I'm sorry, having them between about two to three mil is honestly where you want to have them at. Um, any higher than that really starts to be a bit, bit of a pain for grinding. So let's go ahead. I'm actually going to grab, I think a plus 15 will do. It's like 900k though. Let me see. Hang on. Hang on. This is the problem with these types of videos is I don't really, I don't really have a game plan per se. Yeah, you know we have some of these sigmas. I'm just gonna grab these and combine one myself because this weapon is close to being plus 10, and I don't want to overcap it. So yeah, let's grab that. Let's grab. So risk we're just gonna grind our. 13 star. So one thing that's kind of cool is these not augmentation aids, but the great enhancement aids actually fairly useful. I used to have more of these. I don't remember why I got so many of them and why I don't have very many of them right now, but we're going to grab them and we're going to use them. I'll stack up more later, but we're going to head over to the shopping plaza and grind up this weapon. So we're going to get this up to 35 ideally. Um, you know, I thought about it and I'm going to end up having to overcap it anyway, but whatever. We're just going to put this at plus 35. I think I need another like 26 to get it at 35, but I don't remember the exact amounts. I would 
recommend testing this out yourself personally or i'm sure someone in the comments is going to be like yo you just use a plus so and so weapon and you're good to go um so what we're going to do is we're going to grab let's see let's go over to weapons we're going to grab what's the highest we have plus three plus four uh plus four so i'm grabbing something that's not uh, that's going to put it at, oh, that puts it at nine. And then if I use one of these, so what I'm doing is putting it purposely at plus nine and then using a great enhancement aid. To see if I can get lucky and proc a great success. Listen, Monica, you're always best. We're going to go with you under any circumstances because you're always are like super nice and you actually want to help. Are you serious right now? So I want, I wanted to leave Monica on for this. Wait, did you guys catch on to the fact that half of that was in Japanese and half of that was in English? Someone told me this is happening occasionally, and it's kind of funny that it happens, but uh, there you go. A bit of a, a bug. Uh, we're going to mute the game for now, just so that way it doesn't get in the way of our recording. Uh, oh, Mothership. Guys, if you guys are leveling, by the way, Mothership is freaking awesome. Definitely worth doing. Okay, we're going to try this at, what is it? Plus 15 right now? Okay. It's at plus 15. Let's see if it gets our Nemesis duels to plus 10. Close. And we're not going to chance it. We're going to, so normally I would RNG it a little bit by chancing. Let's see, I'll put a plus 20. I'm not going to worry about it because it's already put a plus 20. I don't need to worry about RNGing it. I don't need to worry about putting more photon spheres into it either. If I'm not going to be using it past that. There we go. Plus 10, easy. So that's putting a nemesis duels at plus 10. Now, a cool thing to note about weapons that drop. I know people have asked about this before. They drop at plus 35 and they drop at max element when they're 13 star, which is kind of cool. 12 stars don't. 12 stars drop at, I believe they do drop at plus 35, but I don't know if they drop at max element. No, no, they drop at plus 30. Okay. So 12 stars drop at plus 30 and they do not drop at max element. So you do have to grind them together. As you can see, I've grind tons of Sigmas together. I got max element on these. It just happened to be what ended up happening because I had weapons to put together. But um, if you're curious about how you get your elements put for 12 stars, you just grind in um, the same copy of the weapon to increase its grind cap, which really isn't that important for 12 star units or weapons, to be perfectly honest. What's most important is capping out that light, which a 12 star caps out at 50. Um, and you just want to grind other light weapons of the same type into it. So. And it's super easy to do with other Sigmas. You usually can get like one or two more of the same rifle and you're good to go. Or wand or whatever it is you're looking for. So we've got our Nemesis duels up to plus 10. We're going to unlock Purifying Shield. We have enough Photon Spheres. I didn't check on that. I was kind of concerned. So we're going to grab two things. We need an Augmentation Aid plus 100% actually. I think I, I believe we need two of them. If this one doesn't need it, then I do think we need two or only need one actually. So plus 30, it does need it. Okay. So cool tip. Part of this process when you're, um, when you're upgrading weapons, they'll mention that you want to get uh, two plus 27 weapons at this step, I believe. And you can actually just use a plus 30 weapon. And if you type in a hundred percent, Great hands 100 these have gone up in price so they might not be as worth it as it used to be but i'm a bit lazy and don't want to make another weapon so i'll pay the 900k for it but i would highly recommend looking into what's going to end up being better if it's two weapons or if it's one weapon if you're making your own fodder or if you're not or if you happen to have these lying around they're pretty useful but we're going to grab one of these and if we use a grind a 100 percent as you can see, it has a 100% chance to get a great success, which gives us increased experience. It'll put us at plus 20 automatically from one weapon in. Now, if you've never grinded a weapon before and you're asking, why do you bother with, you know, putting these weapons together? Why not just smash them into the weapon? Well, every single weapon you grind into a 13 star requires a Lambda grinder. And Lambda grinders are not as easy to come by as regular grinders. We'll need one and we do it again. Bam, puts us right at plus 30. So notice it costs a Lambda Grinder. Every one weapon costs a Lambda Grinder. So we're trying to use the fewest number of weapons to upgrade this. We've got it at plus 30. We're going to unlock its final potential. Now this weapon's not as important to get to plus 35 before augmenting it. Just because it's not really going to do us much good. I think this at plus 30 is actually not 
worth. I think you want to have a plus 27, but to be honest, I just don't feel like making another weapon or getting another weapon. I'm just going to use this plus 30. This is a bit wasteful. I would highly recommend doing something different. Now, I have to double check. What was the augment factor on this? So the augment factor was, yeah, total res. So not really that useful. We're not going to worry too much about this. We want to get together a few things for this weapon. So as you notice, this is only a two slot weapon. Our final affix that we're going with is what it's called. This final affix is going to be five slots. So we have to go through a process called upslotting. Now upslotting is going to require basic affixing. Now, part of this process is going to be two things. One, I know I want two types of things on my actual main weapon for the final affix. I need to have this weapon with at least might five on it. Now, if you're doing a cheap affix, I would recommend might three or whatever the main attack type is, either might three, um, casting three, or I think precision three. Those are relatively cheap. Um, I'm going with five just because it's going to be one of my main weapons and I happen to have the extra money to go ahead and go into it. So what we need is arcs fever and might five. Now, upslotting with might five, not exactly the easiest thing to do. However, arcs fever is a hundred percent chance to affix. Now, affixes have different percent chances depending upon the affix itself. And the cool thing about arcs fever is it's 100%. And because our weapon right now is low slots, I can affix on the arcs fever early. And we're gonna put this in a premium storage. Yes. Okay, I can fix on the arcs fever early in the affixing time and keep that affix moving forward. So we want something called a junk affix. A junk affix is just something that's going to be a high percent chance to affix. Usually it's gonna be 100%. And it's usually like something low, like a, a might one or a casting one or something that gives you like resistances, so on and so forth. Cool thing about this is you can usually sometimes check the shop. Let's see, I wasn't lucky this time around. Uh, occasionally you can check the shop and you might find something with two augments on it. So you can just pick it up off the shop. If not, not a huge deal. Just head over to the, I guess, marketplace, you could call it. Trying to think of the word you would use in this case. And we're going to pick up something that has at least two augments or more. I usually go for four just because they're still really cheap and you have a chance of having more augments on there. So that we see something that's got might one on it. It's got stamina one on it. That'll do for what we need. So we're going to grab it. So that puts us as two. Now, when you're up slotting, the biggest thing to keep in mind is yes, you can choose one piece of fodder, but when you choose one piece of fodder, the affix upslot actually has less of a chance to go through. Two is going to give it its maximum value for upslotting purposes. So you always want to go with at least two, to my knowledge. We're buying more of these, so we're just going with four slots. Now, we're looking specifically for things that have like one on them, so like mutation one. I don't believe that's going to count, but I think reflex one is pretty good. Uh, let's see. This has, yeah, deafness and genius. That's perfect. These are only like 1K a piece, right? Like they're super, super cheap. I feel like they might not be after I show this off, but they're probably still going to be pretty cheap, right? Like weapon affixing is actually kind of really easy just because you have access to something. I'm going to show you guys before. I'm going to show you guys in a minute. I just totally lost count of how many weapons I bought. So I'm going to check really quick. So we have this. We have one, two, three, four. Five, so that's gonna to go to three slot, the four slot, and then a five slot. We need to get one more weapon. Okay, I'm gonna explain why what those that counting was in just a second here, really quick. So, grabbing four slots because when you're augmenting and trying to transfer item or transfer the augments between weapons, you need to have at least the equal number or higher of the other weapon. Now, granted, I could just look for you know other four slots. I forgot I need to be paying attention to this because people have really lewd symbol arts on their shop stuff and they can get you into trouble. So it's kind of really annoying, but it is what it is. I probably passed one and I might have completely demonetized the video, but you know, whatever happens, happens. So we've got fodder, right? We're going to be upslotting our weapon, but we're going to also at the same time slap on Arcs Fever. Now, Arcs Fever at two slots. Let me show you guys something really quick. This is kind of a cool thing to do while you're dealing with these sorts of affixes and things that you, this is one of those moments where I mentioned like there's a lot of ways to do this that you kind of have to learn. Like you, you start to learn these little individual things and it's kind of difficult to get people to teach you some of this stuff because to be perfectly honest, a lot of people make money off of this. 
So they don't want to show everyone because if people believe this is a difficult process, then they're just going to pay for the affixes um, instead of making them themselves. And in reality, a lot of these are really, really easy to make yourself. So eh, maybe someone's going to be mad at me about this, but they'll get over it. So as we can see, Arx Fever 2 slots. Now I granted when I bought my Arx Fever, it was like 12K, but Arx Fever 2 slots, they're like 30, they're like 30K. They're, they're, they're really, really cheap. But say I waited and I upslotted my weapon first, and then I want to get the Arx Fever net afterwards. It's going to be a five slot that I want, right? Well, all of a sudden I'm 1.3 mil in. Granted, not the end of the world, but if I have to upslot this weapon anyway, might as well go ahead and just slap on the Arx Fever and upslot it at the same time. So there is something you're going to need, and this is going to go back to like, you know, gather resources. Um, 10 star items or 10 star weapons will get traded at the swap shop for the most part for X cubes. X cubes are a useful resource that you will use to pick up augment plus items. Now I know personally that I'm going to need at least one of these. I know that I have a few of these in my um in my storage. So I'm gonna pick up two. Actually, I think I have like nine, so I think I don't need to buy any. I know I need at least one here. Maybe two. I actually might need two. So and this is just me thinking ahead of the of what I know I have and what I know I need. So Augment Aid 30s, yes, I have those. So that's fine. I have three, nine of those. We'll pick up one more because we need one for this up slot and then one for the final affix. So this is going to cost me 200 X cubes. This is why X cubes are actually fairly useful and what you actually normally would save them for. So we'll pick up two of these. So that's 200 X cubes. That means 210 star weapons. I just invested into making this weapon. To be honest, when you get to higher levels, you just end up with these anyway. So I wouldn't recommend doing this until you're like near what we would call in quotes end game. And you're ha you have one of your weapons you're going to be investing into for quite some time. So let's go ahead and add affix. We want to pick our base, which is our nemesis tool. One cool thing we can take advantage of is Sovereign Ward. Sovereign Ward is 100% because it's our SAF, or Special Ability Factor. A Special Ability Factor unlocks on a weapon when you get it to plus 35, and each weapon has something different. This is actually what makes weapons super, super easy to affix, is because you get Special Ability Factors. So you're going with a 5 slot, and you pick 5 weapons that all have a Special Ability Factor that you want. Well, if you use those 5 weapons at plus 35 for your affix, they're all 100%. So all they have to do is they have to be 5 slots, and you have a fairly easy affix that moves on over. We're going to take advantage of this for another weapon in just a moment. I actually made that weapon ahead of time to know what I needed to upslot this weapon because I didn't want to do both of them on the video because we're already 17 minutes in and we've barely started. Um, so we know that we need this here, which is a two slot. Notice how we can see this two slot here and we can see all these four slots is because it's equal to the number of augments you have and then some. So it's, as long as it's equal to it and higher, then you're good to go. We're going to grab these two. We're going to confirm. Oh, I choose grinding. <laughs> also, make sure you choose add affix. I know someone in the video is like, um, what are you doing? You guys are in the comments right now typing away. I can hear you typing. So we grab Sovereign Ward. We grab Arcs Fever because it's also 100%. And you see where it says extra slots right here? When we throw in this extra one that's 100%, it drops it to 85. Now, you can be cheap and you can do this. That's going to save you on, um, on the ad aids. And I'd recommend it if you're going with something that's fairly cheap. Now, Arx Fever is a bit of a money investment personally. And I kind of don't want to do it. You know what? I'm going to do it just to show you guys how much it can kind of end up messing you up. So we're going to RNG it. And we actually did a passing. That can double back and actually screw you over pretty hardcore. Technically, we could have failed all three of these, end up with a zero slot, and had to start from the very, very beginning. So I wouldn't always recommend RNGing it, but if you're doing something that like has, I mean, this is 100%, I could always get this back. This was really easily easy, and I would just have a money investment of the Arx Fever, which wouldn't be the end of the world, technically. It'd be a 30K investment. So technically, this was actually not that bad to go for now in hindsight. So we lucked out. Those went through, and we're at a three slot. So we're going to take the three slot. And you guys get the idea from here. Pick two more, confirm. We're going to pick the 100%. We, need, we know we want Arx Fever, and we know Sovereign Ward's 100%, so we're gonna grab that. And we're gonna grab all these. We want the 30% here, 100. 
and we're four slotted. Now here you can make the decision to RNG again. I personally am not going to because I want to get through this video at some point. But what we're going to do is we're going to grab. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to make sure we grab Arcs Fever. We're going to grab Sovereign Ward. We know it's 100%. We're going to grab Might 1. We're going to grab Precision 1. We're going to grab Deafness. And know we're at, now we're at 60%. So you can RNG this. Or you can spend 100 cubes. So it costs five times the amount to get rid of the RNG. My RNG is terrible. So I'm going to go ahead and just pay the cubes, right? So now we have... Oh, I just thought about something that might cost me an extra 100 cubes. But that's only going to cost me because you guys are not going to be doing the exact same affix I'm doing. This is just an example. So we've got now five slots is what we wanted. We have Arcs Fever because Arcs Fever is 100%. It gives us five PP and gives us some melee power, which is kind of nice. Um, and now we need to pick up a few other weapons. So I actually gathered these in advance. Um, I'm going to prepare this weapon really quick first. Oh, I should have probably bought these earlier. Uh. They might be more expensive now, but we're actually going to grab Might 5s. Now on weapons, these are usually relatively, these are usually much cheaper than on units. Ugh, so this actually cost a bit. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing this because it's expensive. We've put a little bit of money into this already. So we need three of these actually now that i think about it we actually need three of them which kind of sucks and now i'm kind of regretting it but we're doing it for the video i've already invested in the weapon i've invested in the augments i'm just going to go ahead and do this for the video itself let's just get it done so let's go ahead and do that we don't trust people and might five i believe it's yes it is three might fives you would need so when transferring these mites and now with the simulator, you'll be able to play around with this a bit more and learn exactly how much of anything you're going to need. But when transferring these mites, it's going to require three of them, and I believe it gets it to 60%, if I remember correctly, which means I need to go pick up another plus 40% X cube. So we're actually 300 X cubes in the hole on this augment, which, again, isn't the end of the world. We're going to get more X cubes. X cubes just are kind of a resource that you end up using anyway. So I just didn't plan on spending 300 X cubes on this augment. 200 was actually already a stretch. 300 kind of kind of hurts a bit. But we're going to grab these that I pick. Yes, I did. <laughs> I picked the wrong thing again. So we're going to grab these three here. So let's add augment of a four. So we see that that's four. Or that's 60%. And we want to make sure we grab the Arcs Fever. No, we're not upslotting, so these are going to stay at this percentage. And then we're going to slap on a plus 40. That gives us 100%. We now have our Nemesis Duel that has Arcs Fever on it, and it has Might, uh, has Might 5 on it. Now, I needed to prepare a few things for this, so I did. Now, you guys saw how I upslotted. You guys saw what a special ability factor is. And you also saw how I prepared a weapon. So before the video, I actually grabbed this weapon here, this Sanj. The reason for it, I'm gonna show you guys something kind of cool. So what's this? this is my Quartz Soul. That's my Quartz Soul. Is that a five slot Quartz Soul? Quartz Soul. Did I have a plan to do this before? I have a lot of five slot Quartz Souls here. I wonder why. That's a might five. I'm starting to like question what I was doing here beforehand. And that's another might five. Okay. Um, so anyway, <laughs> let's uh let's take a look at this here. So this weapon has got flick arm on it. Now Assange by default is going to start or its special ability factor. You're gonna check it's well, it's I'm sorry, it's augment factor. It's special augment factor is flick armor which flick armor gives you some melee power and some pp you can get you can get these fairly easily now if you're leveling up doing aqs you're going to naturally get a ton ton of photon boosters that's why i'm not too concerned about my x cubes is because before i started spending these and i spent them on x cubes i had seventeen thousand photon boosters which i have seven thousand right now they drop so many of them in um in uh in aqs like you just get them like it's nothing 
So the cool thing about it is not only are there a bunch of camos here you guys can buy, but there is also these weapons here. Now these weapons have special ability factors. They're a flick and alter. You can either get a flick arma and alter arma. So flick is going to be the second one here. Alter is going to be this first. So what these are, these are the melee versions, these are the range versions, and these are the tech versions. So flick, arma, alter arma, I think. I think I got that right. I'm pretty sure I got that in the right order. Now I'm questioning myself. I did. Okay. <laughs> I did get that in the right order. So flicked and alter. Flicked and alter. Flicked and alter. And the only difference between the two of these is do I want more PP, which I did, or do I want more HP? I personally augment HP on my armor a bit more than I do on my weapon. So I wanted more PP, so I went with Flicked. If you feel like you need a bit more HP, you can go with Daisy Chain for Alter. You can always double check these specifically on the wiki, so I would always check the wiki. I'm going to link it in the video description along with the Affix Simulator. So you can tell what these weapons are, and that's something cool to take a look at too. So you get a weapon drop and you don't know, it's like, hey, is this worth anything? You can find out what's its augment factor. Oh, hey, look, this random thing has Might 3 on it. Well, maybe you got this at like a plus 30 randomly from something like your collection file. Well, now your collection file has a weapon on it that's gonna give you Might 3 for free. Well, it's also worth 500K, so you might wanna sell it. But in case you're in that situation, you wanna just get a free Might 3, you don't wanna worry about it. Fairly easy to do, right? So we have our Flick Arma. Now we need a soul on this Flick Arma as well. So the Sanj is plus 35 because to get the special ability factor, we had to plus 35 it. We also need to have a soul on this because we need three souls to be able to get our soul high enough to be able to transfer it. Because our final affix is going to have Quartz Soul on it. Quartz Soul gives us attack and PP. Um, I think, if, does it give us HP? I don't think it does. I'm pretty sure it's just attack and PP, right? Dude, it's been a while since I've used Quartz Soul. I usually use Act the Soul. Yeah, yeah, attack and PP. So we use Quartz Soul. If you don't want more PP and you end up wanting more HP, you can use something like uh, Volsol. No, I, yeah, Volsol, I believe, is the, alter, the alternate one. I would just take a look into what souls to use. Um, off the top of my head, I know Fang Soul is something people use. I believe that's for precision. Um, and then there's also Elder Soul, I believe, is the one that you want to use for casting. Um, people will tell you just go and use, uh, what is it, um, Apprentice Soul, and Apprentice Soul is kind of overly expensive for these. Now granted, I have fixed Apprentice Soul on some of my low slot weapons because it was just cheap, um, but I'm going to do a five slot and I'm not, gonna, I'm not buying potentially five Apprentice Souls is what I'll need. So for this, we need five of them total, right? We need three because we're going to put the soul onto one of our weapons, the Sanj, um, that's going to have our flick arm on it. And then we need two more because we're going to use the Sanj as part of our actual final affix, so that counts as one. And then we'll need the two extra ones to actually get the weapon over to it. So at the end of this, what we're, what we're basically prepping at this point is our main weapon. Our main, oh, wrong location here. Our main weapon has been prepped with a Might 5, which in your case I would recommend being a Might 3. An Arcs Fever. We're going to have two weapons with Might 5 on it. And as you saw with three Might 5s, it gives us a 60% chance to transfer Might 5, which is why we put Might 5 here, and this will have two more. And then we're going to have Quartz Soul and Flick Arma here. So that'll be one of our Quartz Souls, and we're going to add two more. That's a total of five weapons, and that's the maximum number that you can use when affixing. So let's go ahead and add our Quartz Soul. So we're going to pick the Sanj as our base, of course, and then we want to pick two Quartz Souls. I'm sorry, three Quartz Souls. One two, three. So there's our three Quartz Souls. So we get Flick Arma. We get Quartz Soul. Thank God it is 80%. Um, we'll pick up, I don't know, we can go with Might 1, Precision 1, Casting 1, and make sure we're not missing anything. Always double check your affix when you're picking up these things. We know we need Quartz Soul, we need Flick or um, yes, Flick Arma. That's why you have the Affix Simulator open. I have mine open on another screen to double check that I know what I need. Cool. Start the Affix. We're gonna use a 30% booster because we don't wanna RNG this. It's already kind of a bit of money we've put into this. Keep in mind it costs Meseta each time you do these Affixes. 
and the higher the star of the weapon the more it costs so that's why sometimes you'll see lower star weapons end up costing a bit more even though they have similar affixes because people want to nickel and dime you for anything they can so now we have our next piece of fodder made we have our sanj with flick arma and quartz soul so remember i said this can get kind of complicated um, people do this preparation for every single piece of fodder they will make five pieces of fodder that all have individual affixes to go into a final piece to have everything set and that includes the weapon you're affixing itself because you're actually using six total so let's go over what we still need we have the two might fives check we have our weapon that's got arcs fever and might five check we have our weapon that's got quartz soul flick arma check all we need are two quartz souls so let's double check our inventory i put these here that's a quartz soul and that's a quartz soul perfect we have the two quartz souls we need so that tells us we have pretty much all of the actual fodder we need we have five pieces of fodder in the main item Let's head over to our inventory, and we're also going to pick up an affix melee and PP. This is noble power. I believe that's all I wanted. But at the end of the day, that will give me Arx Fever, Quartz Soul, Might 5, Flick Arma, and an add melee and PP for noble might with a 40%. That'll give us five total affixes. So we have that. We've got everything else we need. Cool. And let's go ahead and finish off the final affix. Now, the most important part, the order in which you pick your abilities. This isn't actually important, but everyone has like their own way of doing this. As you can see now, we have five fodder. We're going to take our Sanj because it has our Flick Arm on it. It has one of our Quartz Souls that we need. Flick Arm is going to be 100% because it's the special ability factor. Now, granted, this is going to use these items. These are going to go away after we use them. So we want to be very careful on this final affix. We're going to grab our Might 5. Let's see. So that's one Quartz Soul. Flick Arma. I'm actually going to go in a way that you guys can see this. So one Quartz Soul and a Flick Arma. That's going to be 100%. Notice how it's got Flick Arma right here when it's got this actual like thing here. This basically means it's 100% chance. This means a special ability factor. So notice that Arcs Fever is here, Might is here, but it's going to be a percentage relatively low. So this is our Quartz Soul. We want to get a second Quartz Soul, and we need a third Quartz Soul. Now we know that our main weapon has Might 5 on it, and it has the Arcs Fever we need. So we need two more Arcs Fever, or sorry, two more Might 5s. Confirm. We want to use the Add Augment Melee and PP, because it allows us to add on Normal Might for 100%. So now we have our full setup of what we need. We're going to grab Quartz Soul, Might 5, Flick Arma, Arcs Fever, and Noble Might. Take a look at the order, see if you're okay with how this sits. I think that looks pretty good. Start Affix, take your time, make sure everything sits good. Looks like we have everything we want. And finish. So now we have a weapon that has a large amount of attack on it for a pair of Soaring Blades. Our finished affix is Quartz Soul, Might 5, Fleck Arma, Arcs Fever, Noble Might. If I redid this again, I probably would move these around so this looks a little nicer, but you know, that's not a huge deal. So if you guys were paying attention to how much money we had at the start of this, we were sitting around 44 mil, we're down to 39. In the grand scheme of things, when it comes to affixing, that's not that expensive. Um, that accounts for the costs of our leveling up of, the, of our nemesis weapon, of our upslotting of weapons, of our affixing of two weapons itself to then affix a third final setup. So what does this look like? Well, I four slotted this weapon here, and we have 100 melee power and 8 PP. This weapon here has 17 extra melee power and 6 extra PP. This is what I mean by these aren't substantial differences. Technically, it has less range power and less tech power, um, which isn't really that big of a deal. Um, just because of the affixes we used, when I used these affixes here, I used a lot of all slot affixes, so 
this was everything. Arx Fever was everything. Arx Max was everything. Apprentice Soul was everything. And Noble Might was the only thing that only, matched, only attached to melee. So these were just relatively cheap to go for at the time. So that's, a, that's another thing. If you're doing this at a later time and these aren't cheap, look into other options you might have. Check out other souls. That's why we're gonna look, that's why I recommend looking through the affix simulator. You guys can see what other options there actually are. But there's your finished product. It's a five slot. Again, swap out might five for like might three, dude. It's it's like literally it's ten. It's ten melee power. It's not that big of a deal. And you'll end up with something similar to what I'm looking at here. You got 14 PP, which is pretty nutty on a weapon, I think, at this stage of the game. Not bad at all. I kind of hate the way these look, but they are better, unfortunately. They're they're actually better than the uh, the slave weapons. I'm a fan of edgy, so you know, it's how it tends to go. Um, but yeah, that that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions, and I know a lot of you will, um, I'll do my best to answer them to the best of my ability. I'm again the channel's recently seen a ton of growth so like i usually can keep up with comments relatively quickly but occasionally they kind of get out of hand and not able to catch up to them in time um that's again where i look to you uh you comment heroes out there who know a lot more about the game as well who are helping out with answering questions i i really appreciate it. you guys are awesome um but yeah toss any questions you might have in the comments like the video if this is something you guys have been looking forward to i know it's a bit of a longer video but apparently some of you guys really like these longer videos so hey more power to you I'm not really too concerned about the formula. Whatever works, works. And if you want to keep up with these videos, subscribe. Um, I'm going to be releasing more of these as I can. Uh, I mentioned in the previous video, I was going to show you guys a little trick. For those of you guys who hung out till the end of the video, I'm going to show it to you now. These Rising Weapon Badge 2s are actually pretty useful um, for picking up these ray items, right? Ray units are actually pretty buff. However, if you're relatively new to the game, and you get these rising weapon badges and you're thinking man it's gonna be a while before i get to these ray units might maybe i'll wait until i get a different unit set you can do that and you can trade the ray units in for rising weapon badge ones one rising weapon badge two equals a rising weapon badge or equals two rising weapon badge actually i think it's only one to one i'm pretty sure it's a one to one ratio now that i think about it no no it's two it's two yeah it costs one it gives you two this two here means the number you're actually getting so it's a one to two ratio one rising weapon badge two equals two rising weapon badge ones and you can actually come down right here to these Brisa units. Not only are they decent to use, I didn't mention them in my unit, um, in my unit, uh, what's what I'm looking for? Uh, my unit video, the one I just released. I'm trying to think of the word now, and I'm actually gonna have to open up the document that I just looked at that I, my unit roadmap, that's the word, my unit roadmap. I didn't mention it in my unit roadmap. I'm really good at words. Um, because honestly, I just sell these. They're not bad to use um, on the, in the pinch. They have a decent set bonus. They have a decent amount of attack that goes along with them, and they're relatively tanky. But if you just take a look at Breezy units, guys, they're selling for three to four mil, or two to three mil, excuse me, in most cases. So you can actually make some quick money off of these fairly early on. I also know some other people are going to be mad at me for telling you guys that. But hey, I'm really not too concerned. Anyway, guys. I could marimble on about this stuff all day, um, but thanks again for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.